The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Sisters and brothers in Christ, on this most holy night, when our Savior Jesus Christ passed from death to life, we gather with the Church throughout the world in vigil and prayer. This is the Passover of Jesus Christ. Through light and the Word, through water and oil, bread and wine, we proclaim Christ's death and resurrection, share Christ's triumph over sin and death, and await Christ's coming again in glory. Let us pray. Eternal God, in Jesus Christ you have given the light of life to all the world. Bless this new fire and increase in us a desire to shine forth with the brightness of Christ's rising until we feast at the banquet of eternal light through the Son of Righteousness, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Christ, yesterday and today, the beginning and the ending. To Christ belongs all time and all of the ages. To Christ belongs glory and dominion, now and forever. Amen. Amen. The light of Christ, rising in glory, dispel the darkness of our hearts and minds.
Let us pray. Eternal giver of life and light, this holy night shines with the radiance of the risen Christ. Renew your church with the spirit given us in baptism, that we may worship you in sincerity and truth, and may shine as a light in the world. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Creation. Before our God created the world, there was nothing at all except God. On the first day of creation, the wind of God blew. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. God said, let there be light. Crackle, boom, bang. There was light. God saw that the light was good. Then, split. God divided the light and darkness into day and night. On the second day, God said, let there be a sky. Pillow, billow, puff. There was a sky. God saw that the sky was good. On the third day, God said, let there be water and dry land. Drip, drop, ker, plunk. There was water. Crackle, crunch, snap. There was dry land. God saw that the water and land were good. Then God said, let there be plants and trees. Rumble, wrestle, pop. There were plants and trees. God saw that the plants and trees were good. On the fourth day, God said, let there be a sun, moon, and stars. Glimmer, shimmer, shine. There was a sun, a moon, and thousands of stars. God saw that the sun and moon were good. On the fifth day, God said, let there be sea animals that swim and birds that fly. Whoosh, whoosh, splash. There were sea animals. Flutter, flutter, tweet. There were birds. God saw that the sea animals and birds were good. On the sixth day, God said, let there be animals of every kind on earth. Growl, prowl, snort. There were animals with fur. 
Skitter, scatter, creep. There were bugs. Slither, slather, hop. There were rep tables. God saw that the animals and reptiles and bugs were good. Then God said, let there be people on earth. Blink, wink, hiccup. There were people on earth. God saw that the people were very good. On the seventh day, God said, it is time to rest. Phew, phew, ah. God and all the creation rested. This was the story of creation. Almighty God, you wonderfully created the dignity of human nature, and yet more wonderfully restored it. In your mercy, let us share the divine life of the one who came to share our humanity, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to go forward. And you lift up your staff and with hand outstretched over the sea, split the sea in two. The Israelites may pass through it on dry land, but I will make the Egyptians so obstinate that they will go in after them. Then I will receive glory through Pharaoh and all his army, his chariots and charioteers. The Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I receive glory through Pharaoh and his chariots and charioteers. Sing the song of freedom, sing the song of freedom, God has won the victory, God has won the victory, horse and chariot are cast into the sea, horse and chariot are cast into the sea. The angel of God, who 
had been leading Israel's camp, now moved and went around behind them. The column of cloud also, leaving the front, took up its place behind them. It came between the camp of the Egyptians and that of Israel, but the cloud now became dark, and thus the night passed without the rival camps coming any closer together all night long. Sing the song of the freedom. Sing the song of freedom. God has won the Sing the song of freedom. Sing the song. 
wonderful deeds of old shine forth even to our own day. By the power of your mighty arm, you once delivered your chosen people from slavery under Pharaoh, a sign for us of the salvation offered to everyone. By the water of baptism, grant that all the peoples of the earth may partake in the salvation of the Israelites and together dance on the other on the safe side of the sea, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. A reading from Isaiah. Come, all you who are thirsty, come to the waters, and you who have no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk, without money and without cost. Why spend money on what is not bread? and your labor on what does not satisfy. Listen, listen to me and eat what is good, and you will delight in the richest of fare. Give ear and come to me. Listen that you may live. I will make an everlasting covenant with you, my faithful love promised to David. See, I have made him a witness to the peoples, a ruler and commander of the peoples. Surely you will summon nations you do not know and nations you do not know will come running to you. Because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for he has endowed you with splendor. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them turn to the Lord and he will have mercy on them. And to our God, for he will freely pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, Neither are your ways my ways, declared the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than yours, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. As the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return to it without watering the earth and making it bud and flourish, so that it yields seeds for the sour and bread for the eater, so is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire, 
and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. Here ends the reading. created all things by the power of your word, and you renew the whole earth by your spirit. Give now the water of life to all who thirst for you, that rejoicing in your covenant of mercy, we may bring forth abundant fruit. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. A reading from Proverbs. Does not wisdom call, and does not understanding raise her voice? On the heights, beside the way, at the crossroads, she takes her stand. Beside the gates, in front of the town, at the entrance of the portals, she cries out, To you, O people, I call, and my cry is to all that live. O simple ones, learn prudence, acquire intelligence, you who lack it. Hear, for I will speak of noble things, and from my lips will come what is right, for my mouth will utter truth. Wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are righteous. There is nothing twisted or crooked in them. My fruit is better than gold, even fine gold, and my yield than choice silver. I walk in the way of righteousness along the paths of justice, endowing with wealth those who love me and filling their treasuries. To those without sense, she says, Come eat of my bread and drink of the wine I have mixed. Lay aside immaturity and live and walk in the way of insight. of the Lord is perfect and revives the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure and gives wisdom to the simple. The statutes of the Lord are just and rejoice the heart. 
the commandment of the Lord is clear and gives light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean and endures forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous all together. More to be desired are they than gold, more than much fine gold. Sweeter for thine honey than honey in the Servant enlightened, and in keeping them, there is great reward. O oh God, our wisdom teacher of truth. You fill your house by continuing to call all peoples into the way of insight. With your flood and drink, sustain us in the path of justice, and by your love, watch over those whom you have called through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. A reading from Ezekiel. The hand of the Lord came upon me, and he brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord and set me down in the middle of a valley. It was full of bones. He led me all around them. There were very many lying in the valley, and they were very dry. He said to me, Mortal, can these bones live? I answered, O oh Lord God, you know. Then he said to me, Prophesy to these bones and say to them, O oh dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord, God, to these bones, I will cause breath to enter you and you shall live. I will lay sinews on you, and you will cause flesh to come upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live. And you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I had been commanded, and as I prophesied, Suddenly there was a noise, a rattling, and the bones came together, bone to bone. I looked, and there were sinews on them, and flesh had come upon them, and skin had covered them. But there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, Prophesy to the breath, prophesy, mortal. And say to the breath, Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood on their feet, a vast multitude. Then he said to me, Mortal, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They say our bones are dried up and our hope is lost. We are cut off completely. Therefore, prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, 
I am going to open your graves and bring you up from your graves, O my people. And I will bring you back to the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and bring you up from your graves, O my people. I will put my spirit within you, and you shall live. And I will place you on your own soil. Then you shall know that I, the Lord God, have spoken and will act, says the Lord. God of holiness and mercy, in the dying and rising of Christ, you have established a new covenant of reconciliation for us all. Cleanse our hearts and give us a new spirit that by your saving grace we may live as your people. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. A reading from Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar made a golden statue whose height was 60 cubits and whose width was 6 cubits. He set it up in the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. Then King Nebuchadnezzar sent for the satraps, the prefects and the governors, the counselors, the treasurers, the justices, the magistrates, and all the officials of the provinces to assemble and to come to the dedication of the statue that King Nebuchadnezzar set up. So the satraps, the prefects, the governors, the counselors, the treasurers, the justices, the magistrates, and all the officials of the provinces assembled for the dedication of the statue that King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. When they were standing before the statue that Nebuchadnezzar had set up, the herald proclaimed aloud, You are commanded, O peoples, nations, and languages, that when you hear the sound of the horn, pipe, lyre, trigon, harp, drum, an entire musical ensemble, you are to fall down and worship the golden statue that King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Whoever does not fall down and worship shall immediately be thrown into the furnace of blazing fire. Therefore, as soon as all the peoples heard the sound of the horn, pipe, lyre, trigon, harp, drum, an entire musical ensemble, all the peoples, nations, and languages fell down and worshipped the golden statue that King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Accordingly, at that time, certain Chaldeans came forward and denounced the Jews. They said to King Nebuchadnezzar, O king, live forever. You, O king, have made a decree that everyone who hears the sound of a horn, pipe, lyre, trigon, drum, harp, an entire musical ensemble shall fall down and worship the golden statue. And whoever does not fall down and worship the golden statue shall be thrown into the furnace of blazing fire. There are certain Jews who you have appointed over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They pay no heed to you, O king. They do not serve your gods, and they do not worship the golden statue that you have set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar, in a furious rage, commanded that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego be brought in. So they brought these men before the king. Nebuchadnezzar said to them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you do not serve my gods, and you do not worship the golden statue that I have set up. Now, if you are ready, when you hear the sound of the horn, pipe, lyre, trigon, harp, drum, and entire musical ensemble, to fall down and worship the statue that I have made, well and good. But if you do not worship, you shall immediately be thrown into the furnace of blazing fire. And who is the God that will deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to present a defense to you in this matter. If our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the furnace of blazing fire and out of your hand, O king, let him deliver us. But if it not, be it known to you, O king, that we will not serve your gods and we will not worship the golden statue that you have set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar was so filled with rage against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego that his face was distorted. He ordered the furnace heated up seven times more than was customary and ordered some of the strongest guards in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and to throw them into the furnace of blazing fire. So the men were bound, still wearing their tunics, their trousers, their hats, and their other garments, and they were thrown into the furnace of blazing fire. Because the king's command was so urgent, the furnace was so overheated, the raging flames killed the men who lifted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. But the three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down, 
bound and into the furnace of blazing fire. Then King Nebuchadnezzar was astonished and rose up quickly. He said to his counselors, Was it not three men that we threw into the fire? They answered, King, O true, O king. He replied, But I see four men unbound walking in the middle of the fire, and they are not hurt, and the fourth has the appearance of a god. Nebuchadnezzar then approached the door of the furnace of blazing fire and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come out, come here. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out of the fire, and the satraps, the prefects, the governors, and the king's counselors gathered together and saw that the fire had not any power over the bodies of these men. The hair of their heads was not singed, their tunics were not harmed, and not even the smell of the fire came out from them. Nebuchadnezzar said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and delivered his servants who trusted in him. They disobeyed the king's command and yielded up their bodies, rather than serve and worship any god except their own god. Therefore, I will make a decree. Any people, nation, or language that utters blasphemy against the god of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be torn limb from limb, and their bones laid in ruins, for there is no other god who is able to deliver in this way. This is the word of the Lord. All you works of God, bless the Lord. All you angels, now bless the Lord. Come you heavens and powers that be. Praise the Lord and his majesty. Praise your voices high, praise and magnify all you works of God, praise the Lord. Praise your voices high, praise and magnify all you works of God, bless the Lord. Sing you sun and you moon above, stars of heaven now sing his love. Dew and showers, you winds that blow. Heat and fire, you and ice and snow. Raise your voices high, praise and magnify all you works of God. Bless the Lord. Raise your voices high, praise and magnify all you works of God. Bless the Lord. Frost of winter with song so cold. Dews of summer, your song unfold. Light in darkness, you day and night. Clouds of thunder, you lightnings bright. Raise your voices, I praise and magnify. All you works of God, bless the Lord. Raise your voices, I praise and magnify. All you works of God, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, all you pure of heart, all you humble, his praise impart. God the Father and Son adore, bless the Spirit forevermore. Raise your voices, high praise and magnify, all you works of God, bless the Lord. Raise your voices, high praise and magnify, all you works of God, bless the Almighty and eternal God, the only hope of the world, by the proclamation of your prophets, you declare to us the word of salvation. By the grace of your Spirit, increase the devotion of all the baptized, that strengthened by your presence, we may withstand hardship and sorrow and be united with your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. A reading from Romans. Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Therefore, we have been buried with him by baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, so we too might walk in newness of life. For if we've been united with him in a death like his, we will certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that the body of sin 
might be destroyed and we might no longer be enslaved to sin. For whoever has died is freed from sin. But if we have died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. We know that Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Dear friends, we give thanks for the gift of baptism as we come before God to make public affirmation of baptism into Christ. Let us pray. Merciful God, we thank you for these sisters and brothers whom you have made your own by water and the word in baptism. You have called them to yourself, enlightened them with your gifts of your spirit, and nourished them in the community of faith. Uphold your servants in the gifts and promises of baptism, and unite the hearts of all whom you have brought to new birth. We ask this in the name of Christ. Amen. Amen. I ask you to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin, and confess the faith of the Church. Do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God. I renounce them. Do you believe in God the Father? I, I believe, believe in God, God the Father, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe, I believe in, in Jesus Christ, Christ God's, God's only Son, our Lord, Lord who, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born, born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. You have made public profession of your faith. Do you intend to continue in the covenant God made with you in holy baptism, to live among God's faithful people, to hear the word of God and share in the Lord's Supper, Proclaim the good news of God in Christ through word and deed. To serve all people, following the example of Jesus. And to strive for justice and peace in all the earth. I do, and I ask God to help and guide me. People of God, do you promise to support and pray for one another? in your life in Christ. We do, and we ask God to help and guide us. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O God, that through water and the Holy Spirit, you give us new birth. Cleanse us from sin and raise us to eternal life. Stir up in your people the gift of your Holy Spirit the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Amen. Amen.
Alleluia. Let us sing to the Lord who has triumphed gloriously, our strength and our might, who has become our salvation. Alleluia. Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Then Peter and the other disciples set out and went toward the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came following him and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head not lying with the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not understand the scripture, that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned to their homes. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb, as she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and the other at the feet. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? And she said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there. But she did not know that it was Jesus. And Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. And Jesus said to her, 
Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. And Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me, because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. And Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Christ. Alleluia! Christ is risen. Christ, Christ is, is risen, risen indeed. Alleluia! The Lord be with you, and, and also, also with you. you. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, for the glorious resurrection of our Savior, Jesus Christ, the true Paschal Lamb, gave himself to take away our sin, who in dying has destroyed death, and in rising has brought us to eternal life. And so with Mary Magdalene and Peter and all the witnesses of the resurrection, with earth and sea and all their creatures, and with angels and archangels, cherubim and seraphim, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. And again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all the drink, saying, This cup is the New Testament, my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sins. And he said, Do this for the remembrance of me. Lord, remember us in your kingdom, and teach us to pray. Our Lord, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Come to the banquet, behold the risen Christ. And now, um, as you are at home, encourage you to take the bread that hopefully you've already prepared and the drink which you've also prepared and remember the words of Christ, the body of Christ given for you and the blood of Christ shed for you. mystery of Christ's death and resurrection, who send light to conquer darkness, water to give new life, and the bread of heaven 
to nourish your people. Send us forth as witnesses to Jesus' resurrection, that we may show your glory to all the world through the same Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Amen. May God, who brought us from death to life, fill you with great joy. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ is with today. Alleluia. The triumphant holy day. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. God bless you, church. God bring you in heaven.